neuroendoscopic resection is the idea of removing a tumor using an endoscope to visualize the surgical field. With endoscopy, you're inserting a camera right in front of the anatomy, so you are able to see, but you don't have to open up wide spaces to get there. The analogy I like to use is, if you needed to change the muffler in your car, you have two options. One option is to open up the hood of the car, work around the engine block, work underneath the carburetor, and get to where the muffler is, and take the muffler out. You could theoretically do that. The other way would be to just go underneath the bottom of the car, take out the muffler and avoid those other structures. So that's really what endoscopic skull base surgery does. It allows tumors that grow at the base of the brain to be removed from below while avoiding or minimizing manipulation of the critical structures above it, which don't tolerate surgical manipulation very well. One of the wonderful advantages of Cedar sinai is that from the very beginning, a comprehensive pituitary center was established. And because the system is so integrated, because the endocrinologists, the neurosurgeons, the radiation oncologists, we all work so closely together, we're really able to, from a patient's point of view, make their care process straightforward, easy, and based on good, team decision-making. I think that's a rare thing. I think that's really, really hard to find in a quality way. I think it's one of the finest things that we do here is provide multidisciplinary, integrated care for patients with these problems.